Hello, and welcome to Flightboard, business aviation software. Visit us online at flightboard.net. Flightboard is designed primarily for business and charter aviation, but can be used by anybody with a need for aviation scheduling and flight coordination. It's a revolutionary way to schedule trips, track assets, and manage flight operations. In this video series, I'll introduce you to some of the features of this innovative application and give you a quick overview of how easy it is to use while showing you a new way to organize your flight department, all while saving time and reducing errors. This first video will show you how to create your first trip, so let's get started. Flightboard is a browser-based application. There's nothing to download or install, and it can be accessed securely by any stakeholder in your flight department with an internet connection. Here we see the user interface. As a quick overview, here's your flight map, your operations view, the flight calendar, and trip details will show up in the trip information panel located here. In order to add a new trip, simply click the New Trip button. This is the trip window, and you will see a number of tabs, such as the trip summary, trip editor, checklist, Postlight, Files, EAPIS, and Accounting. Your aircraft are stored in the aircraft database and can be accessed here. For this particular trip, let's choose a Citation 10. It comes with a pre-programmed speed of 485 knots. Begin creating your trip by simply clicking the Add New Leg button. Here we'll enter our departure. You can search from IATA, ICAO, or simply type in the city name, and in this case we'll filter to Calgary International. Departure date is automatically filled in. Enter a local time of departure. This particular trip, let's go to Palm Springs, California. Once the arrival is entered, the duration is calculated. The ETD is automatically calculated. Trip summary begins to populate and you see the trip now appearing on our flight map. First leg has been completed. Let's add a second leg. In this case, we'll go from Palm Springs, California. Let's say Las Vegas, Nevada, McCarran. Duration again is calculated. ETA is calculated. The system has automatically given us 30 minutes on the ground to drop off our passengers. And we can move on to creating our third leg. For this demo, let's go from Las Vegas, and we'll terminate today's trip in Vancouver, Canada. Identifier for that is YVR. Select Vancouver. Again, everything auto-populates. I'll take this time to point out a few more features of the leg panel here. You'll notice that all times have been entered in local time and arrival times have been calculated automatically. Time zones are comprehensively accounted for in the application as well as daylight savings time. In addition to that, you do have the mode to operate the entire application in UTC mode. However, we find that passengers and flight coordinators typically want to think of trips in terms of local mode. One other interesting feature is that the ETDs have been calculated when you're moving in this direction building a trip. However, you do also have the opportunity to calculate estimated time of departures. For example, if we knew we didn't need to arrive in Vancouver until 1800 that evening, I can enter in 1800 and hit Calculate ETD. You'll see that the ETA has now been adjusted to shortly after 4 p.m. in Las Vegas. That gives us additional time in Las Vegas in the event that we were uh, looking to pick up additional passengers or something like this. One other feature you will notice here on the legs panel while you're uh, working within the trip editor, is you do have the ability to adjust for headwinds and tailwinds as appropriate. For example, on this leg from Calgary to Palm Springs, we see we're presently getting in there 11.16 in the morning. However, if we did happen to have a 100 knot tailwind, you're more than welcome to adjust headwinds or tailwinds on a particular leg basis, which will bias the default average cruise speed of 480 knots. So in this case, when we enter the 100 knots, we'll see that our arrival in Palm Springs is reduced by about uh, 25 minutes or so for uh, scheduling purposes. 
This will conclude the uh, quick overview of the uh, trip editor and the ability to add legs. Stay tuned in our next series when we talk about adding passengers, crews, and dealing with particular FBOs. Later on, we'll get into the use of checklists and post flights and automatic EAPIS generations and filings. If you would like your own secure demo account that you can start using today, please visit us at flightboard.net. Or, for a more personalized or extensive demo or introductory training session, simply contact us at your convenience. Thank you for watching.